Welcome to Thrive Kids. My name is Miss Stephanie. Have you ever felt unloved or not part of the in crowd or you're just different or you just don't fit in? Well, today we're going to be talking about a woman in the Bible who fit in that category. And honestly, she's one of my favorite characters because for me, when I was a little girl, I didn't quite fit in either. I had big teeth and I had um, bad eyesight and I had to wear big, big plastic glasses. But you know what? God loved me. He didn't care what I looked like, but he made me. He doesn't make any mistakes. So today we're going to be reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible about a woman named Leah. This is called The Girl No One Wanted from Genesis 29 and 30. There were once two sisters. The youngest sister was very beautiful and her name was Rachel, but the older sister was not beautiful at all and some thought her quite ugly. And her name was Leah. Rachel was the kind of girl who always gets invited to parties and chosen for the team. Everyone loved her, but poor Leah, no one hardly even noticed her. One day, their cousin Jacob came to stay. He was one of Isaac's sons and he was on the run. He had stolen and cheated and made some enemies, including his own brother. And now he was in hiding. The funny thing is, Jacob, of all people, was the one God gave the special promise to. The same promise he had given to his grandfather, Abraham. I will rescue the world through your family. But then God chooses people we least expect, as you'll see. Jacob stayed a long time working for his uncle Laban. One day, Laban said, Jacob, I've decided to pay you for your work. What do you want? A sudden thought struck him. What about one of my daughters? Jacob looked at Rachel and then he looked at Leah. Who would he choose? Of course he chose Rachel. I will work seven years for free, Jacob said, if I can marry Rachel. He must have loved her a lot to work for free. So Jacob worked for seven years, and at last his wedding day arrived. But that night, Laban played a nasty trick on Jacob. Instead of sending Rachel to marry to him, he sent Leah. Now in those days, they didn't have any electricity, so it was dark in their tent. And beside, women wore veils and you couldn't see their face properly. So Jacob didn't suspect, suspect anything. The next morning, Jacob woke up and screamed. His new wife was beside him, but it wasn't Rachel, it was Leah. Jacob jumped, Laban, you scoundrel. But Laban said, work for me another seven years and then you can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked for Laban another seven years. And at last, Rachel became his wife. Now, Jacob had two wives, but of his two wives, Jacob loved Rachel the best. Isn't that sad? No one loves me, Leah said. I'm too ugly. But God didn't think she was ugly. And when he saw that Leah was not loved and that no one wanted her, God chose her to love her specially, to give her a very important job. One day, God was going to rescue the whole world through Leah's family. Now when Leah knew that God loved her in her heart, suddenly it didn't matter anymore whether her husband loved her best or if she was the prettiest. Someone had chosen her. Someone did love her with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. That's a lot of love. So when Leah had a baby boy, she called him Judah, which means this time I will praise the Lord. And that's just what she did. And you'll never guess what job God gave Leah. You see, when God looked at Leah, he saw a princess. And sure enough, that's exactly what she became. One of Leah's children's children's children would be a prince, the prince of heaven, God's son, Jesus. This prince would love God's people 
they wouldn't need to be beautiful for him to love them. He would love them with all his heart and they would be beautiful because he loved them, just like Leah. Isn't that a beautiful promise? I am so excited that you joined me today. I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And remember that God loves you just the way you are. Bye-bye.